Charterman, Charterman, Rhyme, Charterman, 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 Rhyme, Reading comics, Twitter, Hell of Six, Hell of Wackiness, Take a Bad Hits, Take a Bad Hits, Charterman, Subscribe, Machine for Comics. Yeah, it looks like Spider-Man's got a vagina. What's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another Batman figure review on the Batman Unlimited The Dark Knight Returns Batman, or I like to call it the Masters of the Universe Classics Batman figure. I gotta give a big thanks to Incline Designs for finding this figure for me. It is pretty hard to get. I've never seen it in stores. He saw it at a local Target. He was like, hey, buddy, did you want this Batman? I was like, hell yeah, I want this Batman. Thank you so much, Incline Designs. His DVD is actually out right now, so you can learn how to make custom figures. It's incredible, so check it out. Link to his channel is in the description below. Big, big, big. Get your big, badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. Hello. So this is a very iconic look for Batman. I mean, The Dark Knight Returns really changed comics forever. It was such a realistic take, and it had so many things. It was such a darker look at a superhero than anybody had seen before. You know, I was very, very young at the time, so I didn't read it right when it came out. But I just really like this look of Batman. It, this is a retired Batman, and I really like this buck that they had used. It is a Masters of the Universe Classics buck. For the most part, I know the chest part is different but overall I do like this figure more so because of it being an iconic Batman figure but you know it doesn't really have a whole lot of paint detail on him or anything and the sculpt is very nice so the sculpt is very cool I like the subtle bat wing design in his cape very very cool it's even got this fold in it right here but it's a very nice look very buffed retired Batman if you have a clear stand like this, this is a Toy Biz Marvel Legends base stand, you can stick it underneath under his cape and you could pose your Batman, you know, jumping around, doing some cool stuff, even though that looks incredibly lame. Okay, that looks a little cooler, yeah, yeah, yeah. He does come with one accessory, and that is his battering that says China written right on it, which is kind of funny. Uh, why the hell does it say China on it? I mean, you could have put that on the figure or something. I mean, you have to, like, you know, let us all know that the battering came from China. But anyway, you know, most of the time I have it posed this way. It is a little floppy. It's a little bendy. And out of the packaging, it was really bent like this. But, you know, I've been messing with it. So not bad. You know, not the craziest battering in the world or anything. Yes, as Mattel is known for, or the Four Horsemen are known for, are their incredible skills. Sculpts. This is nice. Very, very, very cool. I don't like that little black smudge right there. But the paint isn't too bad. The bat logo came out really clean. I like the detailing in his utility belt. Would have been nice if they had some uh, paint variations there. You know what I mean? Like I'm just saying, Mattel, you know, you could do a little better on the paint variation. I mean, it's kind of subtle on the arm. You can kind of see. Eh, not really. It's like a little darker right here. So there is some slight shading on the gray areas. It's got some random blue. It's not terrible, but it's, you know, it's not really that noticeable. It's just barely there. And his He-Man legs are right there. And then nice sculpted boots. Very, very nice. One thing that does suck about the articulation, though, is that you cannot get him in his iconic The Dark Knight Returns pose. You know what I mean? This picture right here, it's like, you can't get him in that pose. The articulation doesn't really do it. I'll have a picture at the end of the video, and here's the back of the box right there. Uh, it is a Master of the Universe Classics mold in the sense that they did take, like, the lay... I mean, first off, you can see he's the same height as He-Man. Thank you, Sean Long, by the way. But, you know, they have the same legs. It looks like they have the same lower torso but the upper torso is different because you know he-man clearly has the man nipples going on batman does not have the man nipples thank you and you know the arms up to the forearm are the same so you could tell that those are the same forearms right there it's very much a masters of the universe classics figure just redone so i do like the articulation on these more so on the standard dc uc figure and here he is next to the series one classic batman which you know he's just a little bit taller than this batman and then we can see how he looks next to the dark knight rises batman over here which is quite a bit shorter so the head does move up a bit. That's pretty cool. That's a lot more head motion than we get in most of them. And it does look down. Head moves side to side. And you could rock it back and forth side to side like this as well. He has good ball jointed shoulders. Move outward. They move forward. He has an upper bicep swivel. Or just a bicep swivel I guess. Single jointed elbow. And then he rotates at the wrist side to side. He has a good ab crunch. Moves forward. Moves back pretty damn well. I like that. Nice waist joint right here. It's not hindered by the utility belt. And then if you could see right here, 
this is like a very rubbery kind of you know pliable plastic that they have right here on his shorts which does work out pretty well and you have this Marvel Legends like ball joint right there in his hips so those move outward they move forward way better than the gaping crotch pit can't stand the gaping crotch pit this is nice this is way better see that's what I'm talking about with the gaping crotch pit you know what I mean that that weird gape right there is it's just strange to me he has an upper thigh swivel single jointed knee and then the boots rotate as well his ankles move downward they move Upward, he has no ankle pivot, but he does have nice sculpting at the bottom of his boots and peg holes at the bottom of each of his feet. So standing with his legs straight up and down, he stands, I don't know, I want to say just under 7 inches, which is not too bad. So yeah, I definitely recommend getting this figure, especially if you're a comics fan, especially if you're a Batman fan. This is, you know, a huge deal having this Batman figure. So I don't know, I just really, really like it a lot. Very, very cool. And yeah, um, yeah, I, you know, I have to say, Dark Knight Returns, I really liked the cartoon movies, if you'd seen those. I think they were awesome. I actually liked them better than the book because, you know, reading news broadcasters in a comic book, you know, it really wasn't the funnest thing in the world. But anyway, great figure. I hope you pick him up, and I hope you guys like my review. I will catch you later. Peace. Which, uh, you know, it's very much a 